Joel, I know Brighton always do well against West Ham, it seems, but how good a performance was that one? I think really good. Uh, again, uh, first half was a bit tougher than the second half uh, because of the, I think, the 2 0, 3 0 that killed him a bit, I think. Killed the game a bit. Uh, we had l lots of spaces, uh, especially second half, and yeah, we know what, uh, what we can do with uh, lots of space. Tell us about 2 0. That was some finish. Yeah, we trained on it, uh, and uh, I was defending it because I was on the bench, of course, but I knew uh, Nick from. Uh, Set pieces and the assistant coach, he told me, don't block the keeper anymore, go to the second post for like a tap in. So I did like the first corner, corner we had and then, yeah, again, we trained on it and it's really nice that it's also happening in the game. You train the shoulder into the back of the net, do you? No, that was not a training, <laughs> training uh, goal, but it was someone needs to be there for a tap in and luckily uh, I was the lucky one. How much focus has there been then on this uh, addressing the, the lack of goals from corners up to now? No, true. Uh, we, we keep working on it almost every week. So, well, I have to say every week, but uh, it just needs a bit of luck as well that the ball bounces perfectly in front of our feet instead of uh, the opponent. So, and that's what happened uh, this, uh, this, uh, this time. You had a little hand in the third goal as well. How typical of a Roberto De Zerbi goal was that move? Yeah, especially when you uh, receive the ball or like the opponent has the ball and you regain it, I think that's the word. Uh, there is always option forward and the, the attackers are aware of that. So I saw Evan uh, in that space, I yeah, put it into his feet. I think he passed it to Solly and then, or Pascal, I think so. Great cross and then uh, yeah, Mitomo was there to again, let's tap in. Was it very different for you? It clearly wasn't uh, a handicap at all, having the manager in the stands for the, the one game? No, it was more a handicap for him, of course, because you know him uh, next to the line. He's, he is, he's on, he's switched on every time. So, uh, yeah, he must be a bit fuming that he was not there. But again, it was one game and uh, next game he will be there again. It was a wonderful all-round performance. Four goals, there could have been more. Have you ever played in a team that it's more exciting to be part of, more entertaining, because when you've got those youngsters coming on and they perform the way they did as well, it just looks so much fun. No, true. You want to be part of this team, 100%. And uh, again, the subs, the Gava said it after the game as well to in the dressing room, like the subs who came on, they were brilliant. There was not like like a downfall or something. We kept going. Donkey said it as well from the back. Keep going, keep going. And the Gaffa said it half time as well. Like you can make three, four goals over here. And then, of course, after the game, you can talk. Yeah, we did it. But uh, yeah, the feeling was there to make more goals. You're in the quarterfinals of the cup. You keep climbing the league. Are you? How exciting are your dreams about the end of the season? Yeah, again, uh, I think uh, Newcastle lost, Spurs lost, like the, the clubs above us. Um, so it's it's going well, but again, I, I keep saying it, we need to stay humble. We have like 38 points now, uh, 14 games to play, 15 or something. So stay humble and see every game as a final and then we'll see where we, where we are at the end of the season.